morning. Mike from the Fulcrum here. Cyrus Mutley and I are out enjoying a little bit of climate change. It's February 10th and it's almost 10 degrees Celsius which would be around 4850 the old Fahrenheit scale. In a nice quiet spot one of our favorite haunts local woods overlooking the old quarry. Beautiful spot We're right in the sun here. Not much of a breeze. And hardly anybody about today. I like these quiet spots because uh, for one it's a beautiful way to enjoy the weather when it's a little bit unseasonally warm catching the sun. It's also uh, a great place for uh, quiet reflection on what you've been experiencing lately. What I've been experiencing lately makes me wonder who is actually running everything. For one, I just uh, watched on the news how one of the most powerful men on the planet is not going to be charged for um, keeping confidential records in his various homes and offices. And the reason being is that they don't deem him mentally competent enough to have a, a real fair trial. And yet uh, it's also okay for him to be the most powerful man in the world, the President of the United States, with easy access to the nuclear football. Now having uh, grown up with grandparents that uh, exhibited dementia and Alzheimer's, my own mother for example, and how the process gradually moves along, I have to believe that watching uh, a man who has trouble getting off the stage, is continually falling, is uh, talking about how he was having conversations with people that died 15, 20 years ago, just this week, confusing countries and the people that run them. And yet on the news, all we see is talking heads supposedly saying that, oh, he's perfectly competent and doing a great job. They must think you're all pretty stupid or think that probably there isn't much you can do about it. And you'll just have to sit there and, and believe all this. Well, horse do. I'm still expected to believe that by sending hundreds of billions of dollars to uh, basically uh, companies or countries that are dictatorships is going to bring about democracy. And how the fact that in recent situation in Ukraine, how they've lost a whole generation of young men and now are pushing women and uh, young boys to go fight at the front, much like a certain German uh, leader had to do during World War II towards the end. It just uh, defies all imagination that this could possibly be good for anybody but uh, manufacturers that produce the weapons. If that doesn't keep you up at night, I don't know what would. It would appear now that cronyism and uh, corruption is spread to the very highest levels and has been entrenched for years. And up until recently, they've had their uh, the media touting the party lines, whoever happened to be in. It doesn't matter who you vote for. If they're in long enough, they all turn to crap, much like that uh, quote from uh, Samuel Clemens, known as Mark Twain, that uh, politicians are like diapers. They both need to be changed on a regular basis for the same reason. <laughs> and you know what that is. Try not to let this stuff bother me too much, as like my dad used to say, you can only pile shit so high before it starts to fall over on its, under its own weight. And Lord knows there's a lot of it piled up right now. You live long enough, you see these same cycles go over and over again, and you just have to shake your head and uh, go uh, fry up some bacon and eggs and uh, refried potatoes and call it a day. I personally don't allow it to bother me too much. I just make observations on it and go about doing what I want to do. Because in reality, that's what you should do in your life. Pick what makes you feel good. It's uh, beneficial to your community and others, family and friends, and go for it. Eventually, things resolve. You know, it's funny when you realize that we've hit the heights of absurdity and doublespeak in 1984. 
when uh, you, the media tells us that uh, somebody is a threat to our democracy if they get elected. <laughs> the idea someone gets the majority vote in a democratic election is a threat to our democracy. So that way of thinking that uh, should all vote for somebody that's got 28% of the confidence of the country. <laughs> Does that make any sense to you? It certainly doesn't make any sense to me. you got to laugh at it, the conviction in which they say it. You know, there's a famous clip on the internet where virtually every uh, major news network and all their affiliates put up together all saying the same thing. It's a threat to our democracy. All reading from the same script as if uh, someone wouldn't notice. In the old days, they wouldn't. You'd watch your local station, you'd see that and go, yeah, that's terrible. But now in this world of hundreds of stations and uh, all these YouTube channels and the internet, all this stuff is recorded. It's all there, you can pull it up, compare notes, put it all together and you have to scratch your head and go, what the hell? They're all saying the same thing, almost exactly the same script? Who's writing these scripts? Who benefits from all this? Certainly not you or me. Increasingly more taxes, more draconian control of what you can see, what you can eat. Even down here in case of this little stretch of woods I'm in, it's already funded by the various local and federal and provincial governments. Now they're going to put a gate up where you have to uh, log in with your phone, pay by your phone to get in here. It's not so bad, really. You think about, well, yeah, it have extra support. But this stuff never ends. Not only are we paying money, but now they know where you like to go. With all these continual electronic payment features, they know what you like to eat, where you shop, where you live, the track where you go on the phone. Literally, you have no privacy at all. And most people are okay with that. That doesn't scare you, nothing will. I know I got a hell of a shock. A couple of years ago, I got an email that said it was from Google, and it was showing me my my monthly. Couldn't believe it. I went on there, and it showed virtually everywhere I'd been for the last month. And ever since then, I've like pretty much uh, like yanked the battery out of my phone before I went anywhere. Sounds crazy, but I just don't like the idea of knowing where I'm going. Well, the funny thing is about places like this, it breaks people into groups. There's those that actually never go off the, the main trails, go around and around and around. They never take a cross path. They never go out into the open and into the meadows back in through here. I rarely ever see anyone tripping around through here. And yet it's only stone's throw from trails. That's kind of like life. Those that uh, think outside the box or outside the lines, and those that uh, never get off the beaten track. And even some of the regular trails don't get used that much because they go off to places that might frighten people a little into the woods, into the dark. Not that it bothers me much, those are the ones I look for. This is where we normally do our Wim Hof cold immersion down here, but I uh, had to kind of curtail the activities because of all the ice. We'll be back at it as soon as the water warms up enough to melt the ice. I suppose you could chop a hole in there and dive in, but I'd rather not do that. I think we're going to see that if uh, Joe Biden stays in the election, that uh, he's going to be the first AI president. They're probably going to use AI. Sounds like a conspiracy theory, but if, you know, my evil little brain, that's what I would do. You have an AI president, say Joe uh, just can't go on the campaign trail for whatever reason. They'll pull him out, do the AI, and he'll sound perfectly reasonable to most people. Some of us will pick up on it, others won't. But I think it's, uh, it's got to the point where this continuous deception we've been seeing the last 10, 15 years or so is about to collapse. Should be interesting to see what follows. I would suggest uh, stockpiling up on some uh, staples, get lots of beans and uh, canned goods, dry soups. Put it in a really, really big garden this year. That's what I'm going to do. 
maybe get some solar panels and uh, a big jug to store rainwater in. We'll see how it goes. Anyway, as usual, breathe deep, think clearly, enjoy each day. Mike from the Falcon. Talk to you later.